it's called smp commonly called and uh, people who don't have any donor area or advanced stages like stage 7 and sometimes female pattern hair loss also who doesn't want uh, the hair transplant as a choice so we have a technique called a uh, scalp micropigmentation uh, this uh, when you're doing doing it people ask me how much time it lasts actually so scalp pigmentation is not a permanent uh, procedure you need to get it once in every three to four years because the pigment what you're injecting to the body uh, will slowly fade away it get absorbed by the the body body back so it doesn't totally erase but it gets lightened so like a washed like a like a like the mark on the cloth when you are keeping wa keep washing it after certain washes the marks get the light same thing the pigmentation get lightened so for which you need to do uh, some kind of a top up or revision at uh, three to four years of time so if you're prepared for a uh, three to four years then scalp micropigmentation is one of the safe uh, practices for the advanced balding stages and complete total alopecia uh, where there is no donor area available and even for the certain women who are who doesn't want hair transplant as a choice